اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لقد ارسلنا رسلنا بالبینات و انزلنا ما هو الكتاب والمیزان لیقوم الناس بالکشت السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ ویلکم ٹو رمضان مجھے رہے ٹوڈے ایز دی نائنٹھ آف رمضان اینڈ ہوپ یور رمضان از گوئنگ ہیلدی ولدی اینڈ وائز اینڈ ایوری بڈی از ہیونگ اے گریٹ ٹائم گیٹنگ دا رحماز اینڈ براکاز آف دس لولی قرآن وی آر گوئنگ اگین سور نمل وچ از دا ٹوینٹی سیون سور آف دی قرآن نائنٹی تھری ورسز اٹ ہیز دا جوز امن خلق اینڈ دا جوز بقول لذینہ وی آر ایٹ دا ففٹینت ورس وی آر دا قصص الحمیا اسٹارٹس مسٹر اسٹوری آف دا اوت اینڈ سلیمان موسٹ پلیسز وی آر دس اسٹوری ہیز کم اٹ ہیز بین آفٹن مینشنڈ the story of Daoud and Sulaiman and it's not been that it's very unlikely that normally what happens is the story of Daoud and Sulaiman both come and it's always in pairs so they saw after Daoud story Sulaiman now Sulaiman was also a very tested person he was given quite a lot of luxuries but he was tested وَلَقَدْ فَتَنَّا سُلَيْمَانَ وَالْقَيْلَ عَلَىٰ كُرْسِهِ جَسَدًا سُمَّانَا قَالَ رَبِّكْ فِرْ لِي وَحَبْ لِي مُلْكَ لَا يَنْبَغِي لِحَدِ مِنْ بَعْدِ إِنَّكَ عَنْتَ الْوَحَابِ Okay, let's start. A'uzu billahi minash shaytan al-rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا دَعُودَ وَسُلَيْمَانَ عِلْمَا And we give Daoud and Sulaiman ilm. And this is again a dua. وَقَالُوا الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي فَضَّ لَنَا لَا كَسِيرٍ مِنْ عِبَادِهِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And they said, they both said, all thanks and praises be to Allah who made us from, uh, who gave us much more than many of his believing slaves. وَوَرِثَ سُلَيْمَانَ دَعُودِ And we inherited for Sulaiman the things he got from Daoud. Then, وَقَالَ And he said, يا أيها الناس أو بيبل علمنا من تقى التيري I have been taught we have been taught the speech of the birds وَأُوتِينَا مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْرٍ Allah سبحانه وتعالى has bestowed a lot of things upon us إِنَّ هَذَا لَهُوَ الْفَضْلُ لَا مُبِيرٍ Indeed this is from Allah سبحانه وتعالى this is the grace of Allah سبحانه وتعالى nothing else هَذَا مِنْ فَضْلِ رَبِّ وَهُشِرَ لِسُلَيْمَانَ جُنُودُهُ مِنَ الْجِنِّ وَالْإِنسِ وَالطَّيْرِ فَهُمْ يُوزَعُونَ of um, humans and jinn and birds and they all had squads they all had squadrons sections and they were all like in a marching order they were like a parade and they were like um parading you can say they were like in a parade they were in a marching order and this whole army was going then they came upon an area hatta is a then when they came to the valley of the ants call it namla tuiya you namlu duhulu masakina and uh, ants said oh and an ant said O oh, ants, enter your houses and your dwellings. لا يحتمنكم سليمان وجنود وهم لا يشكر. Sulaiman and his host will crush you, and they will not. They will not know how many creations of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala they have crushed. Then Sulaiman Allah Islam said, "Watawassama dhaahi kam min qawliya." He listened to that, and he laughed, and he got amused, and he said. رَبِّ أَوْزِئِنِي أَنَا شُكُرَ نِعْمَتَكَ الَّتِي أَنَمْتَ وَعَلَى وَالِدَيَّ وَأَنْ أَعْمَلَ صَالِحًا تَرْضَى Oh my Lord, give me this, this power and ability so that I should be thankful for every favor you have given to me and on my parents and so that I can do good deeds with these favors, I can use these favors to my, to my advantage and I can do good things with this وَأَعْمَلَ صَالِحًا تَرْضَى That will please you وَأَدْخِلْنِي بِرَحْمَتِكَ فِي بَعْدِكَ الصَّالِحِ in your most righteous slaves. This is actually, I would like to see on a personal note. It's one of my most favorite duas. I really, it's a very great dua. It's a very nice dua for zikr. Rabbi awzi inya nashkura ni'mada kallati ya namta alayya wa la walida. Really good dua and a very, it gives you the thankness. It makes you feel thankful for all the things in your life. Then, he was there, he said this and then he went to all the, he inspected all the squadrons, checking everything is going. Wa tafakkadat tayra faqala maali ala ar hududa. So he said that, where is the hudhud? Where is the uh, woodpecker? Or is he among the absentees? Why is he absent from this big parade? Such an important event. I'm going to give him a very bad torment. Or I'm going to slaughter him. Or I'm going to if he doesn't give me a clear reason. He stayed, didn't just stay that long, the woodpecker. فَقَالَ أَحَدْتُ بِمَا لَمْ تُحِدْ بِهِ And I have seen something that you might have not seen. وَجِئْتُكَ مِنْ سَبَعِينَ بِلَبَعِينَ يَقِينَ I have come to you from Sabah, the comb of Sabah, the comb of Sheba, from 
uh, a very certain news, this, a true news. This it was the Qom of Sabah. It was, uh, you could say, they were polities. Oh, we are going to talk about them in the later surahs. I have talked about this in Surah Sabah. You can go and check that tafsir. And inshallah, you might find your answer to what happened to the Qom of Sabah. We will still discuss this in future episodes. I have seen a woman. She has, be, she has ruled them. And she has been given everything by any ruler that can get. And she has a very beautiful throne. Now, I was Lakat Gandhi Sabha in famous Kanihimaya. In the living place, there was an ayah. Uh, Jannah, uh, Lakat Gandhi Sabha in famous Kanihimaya. Aya, Jannah, Tiyan Yamini wa Shimal. There is gardens on the right and the left. Kulu me riski rabbikum wa shkurula. Eat from the bounty of your Lord and thank him. Balda tun tagiyabatum wa rabbun ghafoor. A safe city and a forgiving Lord. وَجَدْتُهَا وَقَوْمَهَا يَسْجُدُونَ لِلشَّمْسِ مِن دُورِ اللَّهِ وَزَيَّنَّ لَهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ عَمَالَهُمْ فَصَدَّهُمْ عَنِ السَّوِيلِ وَهُمْ لَا يَحْتَدُونَ Those people, they are prostrating to the sun, they are prostrating and they do not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the sad story. Shaitan has made their amal good and fierce seeming to him. Like it is said, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُوا بِالْآخِرَةِ زَيَّنَّ لَهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ عَمَالُمْ فَهُمْ يَعْمَهُمْ Allah yashudu lillahi allazi yukhriju lakhaba fi samawati wal ardi wa ya'lamu ma tukhfuna wa ma tu'linun. Now, this is two interpretations of this verse. Allah, what does Allah mean? This word has two interpretations. One is that Allah, that shaitan has not let them prostrate in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not go on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's way even though they have so many things. Or second is, so that they can prostrate. Allah, that shaitan has not let them or Allah, so that they can prostrate. Who has... To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has made all that khaba'a which is all the khaba'a fi samawati wal ard in the heavens and the earth. So these are the two interpretations of this verse. Allahu la ilaha illahu rabbul arshil azim. So this is the ayat of sajda. And over here of course just to tell you ayat of sajda comes when the word sajda, yes judu, anything that, that about sajda comes. So ayat of sajda. Then. Qala sananzru wa sadaqdam kunta min al-kazibi. Now Sulaiman alayhi salam he said to the woodpecker, we will see if you are speaking the truth or you are from the liars. If you are speaking the truth, is a big kitab has a valki hilaim summa tabalan hum, fanzur maza yarjun, give this kitab, go to them, and then after they come and see what they say. Call it, ya, you will bano inni will kia ilaya kitab. Oh, chiefs, the woodpecker said, I have been given a noble letter. Inna hum in Sulaiman, wa inna hum bismillah ir Rahman ir Rahim. Two things. First of all, uh, on that time, the letters were a little different. Now, of course, it's a little different. But at that time, first of all, the name of the person who is writing, writing it to the addressee. So, for example, Inna Humin Sulaiman. This letter is from Sulaiman. This is how it was written. So, for example, Mim Muhammad Rasulullah Ila Harkuli. Uh, it was the letter towards Harkuli. So, just like this. So, this is basically, it is that's how it said. Inna Humin Sulaiman. This letter is from Sulaiman. This is the letter which is saying. And then it starts... For example, if it was the letter, it will be written Min Sulaiman, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. That was how the letter was written. In the verse form, it is said Inna Min Sulaiman, Wa Inna Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Basmala. It is said, and of course, it is the hundred and fourteenth time it is said. So it depends on whether you count Bismillah as an ayah or whether a demarcation of this surah ending and starting. But in the Quran. 114th time. So, Surah Tawbah, of course, it does not have Bismillah in it because of Treaty of Hudaybiyah and all that. We will talk about that in a future episode, inshallah. But it is the 114th time. So, 114 times in the Quran, Bismillah has come. Remember that. And this is the first time it is because some people do not consider Bismillah to be an ayah. Some people consider it. But at least the one, this is recognized that this come in an ayah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allah ta'ala wa'alaya wa'atuni muslim. This is what the letter is saying. That do not... Go against, do not war against me. And come to me as Muslims. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a big army. Qalat ya ayyuhal mal waftuni fi amri ma kuntu qatiyatan amran hatta tashadun. Oh chiefs, then the queen of Sabah said. Tell me about this matter. I will not decide until you give me any opinion. Qalun nahnu ulu kuwatin wa ulu ba'asin. Jiridu al-amru ilayke fanzuri maza ta'amun. Now they shift the command over. They say no. You tell us. Then she judges by her own opinion. قَالَتْ إِنَّ الْمُلُوكَ إِذَا دَخَلُوا قَرِيَةَ نَفْسُدُوهَا وَجَعَلُوا عَيْزَةَ أَحْلِهَا دِلَّا وَكَذَلِكَ يَفْعَلُوا Indeed the chiefs when they enter all that 
um, cities they make the honorable people dishonored and this is how they do it wa inni mursalatun ilayhim bi hadiyatun hunaziratu bima yarjul mursalun so they were saying if this is a divine thing this was their thing that if they do this if they have it if they have this divine thing then they will not accept the gifts but if they do this is not a divine person he just wants profit but falamma ja sulaiman qala tumiduna ni bimal fama atani allah khairum mimma atakum bal antu bi hadiyatin mutafrahun hadiyatin mutafrahun so sulaiman said you want to try to help me in wealth why not allah subhanahu wa taala has given us wealth much better than what you have given it is said قال رب اغفر لي وهب لي ملكا لا ينبغي لاحد من مد نوبدي اهيد اوف مي از غونا بي اور गिवन يرجع اليهم فلا ينهم بجنود الله قبل لهم بها ولا نخرجنهم منها ذلا وهم ساغيو اذلا تو هم ساغيو جو تو ذس اف دي دونت بيليف وي ويل سند تو ذم ذا هوست وي ويل درايف ذم اوت فروم ذا لاند ناو هي سيز تو هيز اون تشيفز قال يا ايها الملا ايكم ياتيني بارسيها قبل ان ياتوني مسلمين هي نيو ذات ناو افتر ذس ستاند اوف شي ويل كم and she will see and she will definitely become a muslim but then qala first saying that who is going to bring me our throne qala ifritum min al jinni anati kabhi qablan taquma min maqami ku inni alayhi la qabiyun amin and ifrit from the jinns a very strong jinn said i am going to bring it to you before this council is dismissed and i am indeed strong and trustworthy for it now قال الذي a person now first was a jinn now there's a person قال الذي عنده علم من الكتاب now a person who had uh, the knowing of the scripture now what scriptures what is this knowing of the scriptures wallahu alam and we don't know about this. but there was some scripture which they had the knowing of ana aati kabhi qabla yartad ila ka tarfuk i will bring it before you even blink and falamma raahu mustaqirran inda qala haza min fadli rabbi now what is this he did say it But he has proved it. Before Sulaiman al Islam blinked, he broke the throne. Now Sulaiman said, "No, I'm not nothing. I I don't have anything big. This is all by the grace of my Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. This has happened." Li abluani ashkur am akfur. That he tests me whether I'm grateful and I'm ungrateful. Man shakara fa inna ma yashkur al nafsi. And whoever thanks it's only for his own self. Man kafara fa inna rabbi ganiyun karim. Because Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, what is going to happen to him if you disbelieve? He has those people who don't bhum laya samun. So he doesn't have anything, but it is one for your own problem. Call you, knock you, la har shah, nanzura tahti din dam takunu mila zina lai hadun. We are gonna disguise her throne, so we'll see if she believes or not. Falamma jat call aha kaza arshuk, and it's gonna be said, is this your throne? Aha kaza arshuk. Call it ka anna hu, and she's gonna say yes, it is like this. Wa utin ali mu min kabliha wa kunna muslimin, and the knowledge was bestowed upon her. That means that she. Started to believe. Was that the Hamaka? No, that Abu Dhabi didn't lie. She was given the ayat, but she was kept from believing because what they used to, you know, the verse. And indeed, she was from in the Hamaka. Not in common kafiri. I disbelieve people. Now, what happened after this in the story of Saba? Insha Allah, tomorrow on the tenth of Ramadan, we're gonna discover this. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala give us the tawfiq. بكرم فرام ذا سابق ونا سابق ونا ربنا آتم لنا نور ربك فيرلنا إلا كلا كل شيء قدير ربي أوزي إن الناس كلن نعمة قلة يا لم تعلي ولا والدي ولا أمل صالح ترضى وكلني بيبادي من الصالحين آمين برحمتك يا رحم الرحمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته